stay on the table. I've got a HP 250G6. This one's currently running a 500 gig 5400 RPM starter drive and that will be swiftly getting changed. So if I switch it over here, you'll be able to see the exact model number on this machine. Bingo. So this will be a teardown to get to the hard drive, a quick overview of the main board, and then an SSD install from there. So to begin with, you'll want to remove the battery. And then from there, you should be able to use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove most of the screws that are obvious. So there's the ones that are uncovered on the bottom. There is the two that are hidden by the battery. And then there's also an extra four underneath each of those rubber feet, which you'd probably want a flat, a small flat screwdriver or a pair of tweezers to be able to access them. So once you've finished removing the screws from here, next up we'll be taking out the DVD drive, which should be relatively easy with the screw removed for it. And then from there we'll be opening it up, flipping it over, and you'll be required to use quite probably a soft plastic pry tool. So originally I went with my hard plastic pizza cutter, which I decided against that one. And what I usually do is start from the side that the DVD drive was on, just because there's less ports you can potentially hit. And being it's soft plastic, you should be able to push it between the bottom cover and the top cover without ja damaging any of the plastic. So it does take a little bit to get it there. This is working along quite well. This is the side that's got the ports on it. That's a bit more of a challenge, this one. We just have to be a bit more careful. So from there, I should be able to open it up from the DVD side. So you do have to kind of twist it downwards as you open it. So I'm kind of pulling it towards me as I was lifting it up. And then we're left with the internals. So the main board itself is reasonably small, or fairly standard with today's machines. But let's zoom in and do a quick overview. Here we've got two RAM slots, both DDR4. One is filled, one is not. We have an extremely simple copper cooler for the i3 6006U uh, processor. We have a removable DC jack. And then going up to the top here and across, we see the connections for the hard drive. So as I said, the hard drive in this one is quite crap. It's something that I definitely don't recommend using at all these days. But from here, there's really not much holding that hard drive in place. You have the connector itself. You have one metal bracket which features three screws 
one of which is only going to the main board. So I should be able to take that out and from there lift up and wiggle back the drive. So we have a Toshiba 500 gig. Now I proceed to swap it over. So the drive I've replaced it with is just a 240 gig gigabyte drive. Gigabyte is in the brand. It's fairly similar to a, just a SanDisk. Similar to a Crucial, I believe it's a MX500. As I say that, no, BX500. And also similar to a WD Green SSD. So I'm just clipping the body back on. So I should have zoomed out for that footage, sorry. But you basically you start with the ports getting the cover on it first, where all the plugs are on the left hand side, and then work your way around from there. From here it's pretty straightforward. Put in the two screws underneath the battery, put in the exposed screws, and then put the four screws underneath the rubber from there. Also do remember to put the DVD burner back in as well. And then from there you should be right to reinstall Windows. And I'm just going to continue doing this reinstall. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.